Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel You Learn Education Online. In today's video, you are going to see what are the types of differential amplifiers. In the previous video, you have seen what is differential amplifier and how the differential amplifier circuit is constructed using BJT. So in the previous video, you are going to see the basic differential amplifier that is designed using transistor and that circuit is used in basic operational amplifier circuit once again just see a glance of that circuit so this is the circuit that is designed using basic differential amplifier circuit so from this circuit basic differential amplifier we are going to see the types or the configuration of differential amplifier so the types of the differential amplifier can be decided depending on two parameters one parameter is how the input signals are applied and second parameter is how the output response is taken so the first characteristic is depending upon the input signals applied to the differential amplifier circuit so for this differential amplifier circuit if you observe in the previous slide we are having a basic differential amplifier circuit so with two inputs okay so depending upon the signals that are applied to the two terminals of a differential amplifier it is again classified and second classification is for the differential amplifier circuit how we are obtaining the output response depending on these two parameters the differential amplifiers are classified first see the first classification so since we are considering only the basic differential amplifier circuit which consists of only two input terminals so depending on th that this is again divided that is if the signal is given to only one input terminal of the differential amplifier circuit and the other terminal is grounded then we can call this as single input differential amplifier circuit or single ended differential amplifier circuit if you observe for this differential amplifier circuit if this input signals are given to both the input terminals then we can call this as dual input differential amplifier circuit okay similarly uh, if you obtain the output response okay so if you consider the output response if the output is taken between two collector terminals then it is called balanced output means from the two collector terminals we are obtaining the individual outputs in between the individual outputs if you obtain the potential difference or if you calculate the potential difference we can call it as balanced output or double ended output differential amplifier and the second one is if the output is taken between one collector terminal with respect to ground then it is called as unbalanced output or single ended output or we can call it as floating output so depending on these four parameters the differential amplifier can be used in four configurations so the first configuration is dual input balanced output differential amplifier and the second configuration is dual input unbalanced output differential amplifier if you observe for the differential amplifier circuit for in these two cases the two inputs are applied whereas in the first case balanced output means between the two collector terminals we are obtaining the output whereas in unbalanced output at only one collector terminal we are taking the response okay and the next parameters is and the next configuration is single input balanced output differential amplifier and the fourth one is single input unbalanced output differential amplifier now let's see a glance of individual circuits how it looks like so now see the first configuration that is dual input balanced output differential amplifier circuit so dual input means here the two inputs are applied to the basic differential output and the output is taken across the potential difference outputs of two collector terminals and the second configuration is dual input unbalanced output in this also for the differential amplifier circuit the two inputs are applied but here the output is taken across one collector terminal with respect to ground now see the 